In this video, I'm going to show you possibly the best scalping strategy specifically for crypto that will make profits like this every single day of the week. Now this strategy is designed to maximize profit and with it you could quite literally double, triple or even quadruple your trading account size in just a matter of weeks to months. And as always, I'll be back testing this strategy 100 times across different crypto charts and timeframes to bring you guys the results behind it. Alright, let's jump into TradingView. So I'm here on TradingView.com and the first thing you want to do is open up a crypto chart of your choice on a 5 minute time frame. Alright, now that we're on our chart, we're going to be adding our three indicators. So head to the indicators tab and search for 10 in 1 different moving averages. And once you've added it to the chart, it'll look something like this. Now we do have to change some settings in this indicator. So opening its settings by clicking on the cog icon and going to the input section. Next, enable the second MA option and change it to WMA. Then set the length to 15. Okay, now under the style section, we're going to make the MA line a bit thicker and change the second line to a yellow color. Alright, with that done, let's add our second indicator. For this, search for Trader XO Macro Trend Scanner. And select this one right here by BTC Charlie. Okay, we need to adjust settings for this indicator too. So heading over to its settings icon, navigate to the style section and disable the fast and slow EMAs. Okay, time for our final indicator. This will be our final confirmation indicator and is going to be filtering out lots of losing trades. So searching for SDC, a better MACD, and its publisher is Sean KM. And just like that, our setup is complete. Now let's dive right into the rules for this strategy. So starting off with long trades, first we need the price action to be moving above the moving averages, just like this. Next, we need the 50 WMA line to be above the 200 EMA line. Thirdly, we need the market to create a pullback which crosses back into the 50 WMA without exceeding the 200 EMA. Once we're confident all these conditions have been met, we're going to look at the bottom STC indicator to confirm our long entry. For this, the line of the indicator has to be in the first column and above the 80 level. It also needs to be pointing upwards just like this. Now with the final entry confirmation confirmed, we can place a buy order on the close of our trigger candlestick with the stop loss set at the recent swing low. Now for this strategy, we will be using a money management system. So we're going to set our take profit at 1 to 1 risk and reward. Then we'll move up our stop loss so it's in line with previous break evens just like this. Now what this will mean is we're essentially in a free trade. If the price action hits our stop loss, we don't lose anything because remember it was originally our break even point. But if the price action continues up to our new take profit, which is 2 to 1 risk and reward now, then we just doubled our potential profits. You can do this over and over as many times as you want, but clearly eventually it will hit the stop loss. But even so, you'll be walking away with a very nice profit indeed. Okay, so here is another example of a long trade. We see the price action is moving above the moving averages and the 50 WMA line is above the 200 MA line. Also, the price action created a pullback into the 50 WMA line without exceeding our 200 EMA line. Now looking at the STC indicator, our final confirmation, we see the indicator is in the first column and it is above the 80 level. It's also green and points up. So I'm going to stop this trade here so I can move on and show you guys short trades. First we need our price action to be moving below the moving averages. Then we need the 50 WMA line to be below our 200 EMA line. Then we need our price action to pull back into the 50 WMA and during this the price action cannot exceed the 200 line. And lastly for our confirmation we need to see the STC indicator be below the 20 level whilst pointing downwards and presenting as a red colour. Okay so all our conditions are met and our confirmation indicator looks good. So we can place our sell order at the close of our trigger candlestick with the stop loss set at the recent swing high. Now again implementing our money management system, we'll be starting with 1 to 1 risk and reward. Okay so it hit our take profit, now I'm going to move our stop loss to the previous break even and change it to 2 to 1 risk. And perfect, it hit our take profit, so this trade was again successful. Okay, I hope you've understood the rules for the strategy. Now it's time for me to jump into the back tester and bring you guys the true numbers behind it.
And just like that, 100 trades have been compiled and backtested. So wasting no time at all, let's take a look at these results. Our win rate was 72% across the 100 trades and our realized profit was over 1800%. This is an incredible result and is thanks to our money management system. If you look at the chart representing our account size, you see just how slow we start off. Then as our money management system starts winning us 6, 8 and 10% profit trades, the rate at which our account grows continues to increase. Now having a look at our profitability stats, we achieved a profit factor of 6.5, which is outstanding. Next up, the best looking number on this page, which is our largest profit made from a single trade of 18%. Now I must admit this is a bit of an outlier as there was only 3 trades this large, however we still had countless 6, 8 and even 10% profit trades. We also had 7 consecutive wins against just 2 consecutive losses, which outlines how accurate our money management system is with reducing losing trades. We also had an average profit of 5% and due to never changing our stop loss ratio, we only ever lost 2% from any one losing trade. Now these stats are absolutely incredible, but as always I like to keep these results realistic, so I'll just give you a quick summary of these trades. Firstly, these were trades found across 3 months using many different forex pairs, cryptocurrencies and commodities on different timeframes and trading hours. Also, the backtester doesn't account for trading fees from whatever exchange you may be using, so definitely consider that as well. Obviously, your results will be different as I'm yet to come across an identical backtest. However, with all that in mind, this is still an incredibly profitable and reliable strategy. I definitely recommend you give it a go and send me the results you achieve. And with the backtest complete, this video is done. I hope you found value in it and if you did, I would appreciate it if you could give the video a thumbs up as it really helps the channel grow. As always, if you have any questions or ideas to increase the strategy's performance or have an idea for a future video, comment it down below.